and my last European commentary was the Italian Grand Prix in 2001, at which time I was privileged to be a friend of a chap called Paul Stoddart, a lovely Australian. I could talk until the end of time about Paul Stoddart, but he owned the Minardi team. And he also owned an airline called European Aviation, which operates from Bournemouth, which is not far from where I live. And European Aviation used to collect me from my home, take me to the airport, fly me to the circuit, uh, and generally look after me absolutely magnificently. So we're at the last one in Italy, and we're going after the race to get on the aeroplane to get back. And I went to get on the coach and Paul said, wait, Murray, we'll go in the car. So all the others went. I get in the car with Paul and with Sue. And I was staggered when we drove up to the aeroplane and it was getting dark to see that at the steps of the aeroplane, because we were going up steps and not on one of these walkways, there were two lines of people all in a white T-shirt. So I, got, I said, oh, I said to Sue, look at them, I wonder what this is about. So I got off and I looked at them and they, all this, this T-shirt had got, thanks for the memories, Murray. And on the side of the aeroplane, there's an enormous stick on, picture of me and Sterling Moss's Mercedes Benz. Thanks for the memories, Murray. We get in the aeroplane and there's a big table in the middle of it and on the table, there's an enormous cake with thanks for the memories, Murray. There were balloons all down the, and poppers. The whole plane was decorated and it's all full of Formula One people. So I'm overwhelmed by this. We take off and we're about half an hour into the flight and Kerry, one of the air hostesses, comes up to me with an air hostess's uniform and said, you know what you have to do, Barry. So I went down to the loo, put the air hostess's uniform on, uh, and helped Kerry and the others serve dinner to all the passengers, the Formula One passengers, who all knew me and I knew all of them. Uh, and then we had the most terrific water fight. I mean, this is in an aeroplane up in the sky. A gigantic buckets of water being thrown about and boppers and everybody getting soaked. And uh, when we got to Coventry, which was where, they, where we were landing, Paul Stoddart discharges the emergency chute and one of the air hostesses leaps off it topless which was followed by the rest of us. So, so that, that was my parting to Formula One. And I can't, I can't think of a better way to do it. 